Yeah, I, I, I would like to point out that she does seem to know where it is. And uh, Yana, you do remember that unless you know where it is, it's nearly, it'll be almost impossible for him to find it on his own. Because mm-hmm. well, well we're all ready to go. Why don't we go there? You can show me where this next other place okay. is. So, in so the you future, know, I yeah, go, I can go. Okay. All we right, go. let's do this. Yeah. Cool. Let's, let's go to the death death caves. <laughs> uh huh. No problem. You guys pick up your cold weather gear. Um. Is there any other tooling up or getting ready you want to do before heading over there or no? Do like do they like walk around with like pistols on their hips there? I think so. That's so. okay. That's yeah. okay. Yeah. All right. But they will like they will be aggressive just because they don't know you and because like you are a man and we can pretend to out of my slave, but I don't know if that works. We That's were fine. Like, like, do the guys walk around with collars on and with a like a leash or what? A, what's up? You know. I think I think it's more about posture. Like you need to look like you are beaten down, kind of. But right, I think so I think you they will are take the lead, and I will like. Yeah. Be your we can try it, but I think they will be aggressive just because we are foreign people. All right, well, it should be interesting. Yeah. <clears throat> we can kill some people. So let's go. Okay. So you guys head over to uh, Yana. Do you remember how to get to the. the uh, oh. There is the, 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 uh, the weird doors. There is the house on the. The one house that is like. I know. All the way south. In the yeah. bomb shelter. Yeah. Oh, okay. Great. And you yes. Open up the circle thing and. Yep. No problem. Uh, you look in and it is pitch black down there. I pull out my flashlight. Okay. Uh, you look at the ladder itself. It looks like a cold, slippery with condensation on it type of ladder. That's why we tie off the the rope, drop it down, and as a safety, and then go down. Uh, no problem. I. Uh, you are you are normal climb roll since you've got a flashlight in your hand. If you had some way of not having a flashlight in your hand, then that would be much easier for you. Like, you know, if you were to have like miners' helmets and shit like that, then there'd be a bonus for the ladder and stuff. Okay. I climb. Cool. Right cool. Yana, give me uh are you holding anything in your hands? I'm not holding, but I'm also not climbing. No problem. You dive into the darkness and then uh, go splattered in the distant bottom of it after a yeah. long scream and a big splat. No, I will try to climb again. Are you sure you don't want to know what the, the damage you'd have to roll is first? Yeah, what is the damage? It would only be D8 plus D10. <laughs> I don't want the damage. Oh, I... Yana. Oh, Yana. I know. I know. I climb. Oh, all right. <laughs> and don't be afraid of the damage, Yana. I hate the damage. Yeah, especially since you're not healing up faster. That would suck ass. Yeah. I need the white, white AI thing. White hmm. people. Yeah, the white people don't seem to like you much. Maybe. I know. But... I... Also, I, I really love your idea of each PC getting their own yeah. uh, thing. That's very cool. I, I want that, and I want us all to, to cooperate then. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that would that'd be interesting. Yeah. Ooh, I Chris need is to... getting closer and closer. I need to, yeah, I need to organize it. Chris is playing with his hair right now for some mm. fucking reason. I see, I see. Yeah. Fortunately, the glare from his window is not too hideous. And it's pretty bad. Do you want me to... I can... Hold on. Rawr. 
the Yana, you should get mm -hmm. like for one of your art projects, get like a sheet and then paint on it. So uh -huh. it has like an unusual scene and then uh -huh. have that hanging behind you and shit. Yeah, that would be cool. See, my unusual scene is Matt's slowly balding head. That's what that's what I want in my background. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Such an awesome scene. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you, Chris Tacos. So, uh, you guys have both made it to the bottom. Yana tried letting go of the ladder and uh, eventually splatting, but she managed to get down. The air is so cold that your hands are beginning to shake down here. Uh, fortunately, you've got winter clothing, and that helps. Um, Eventually, uh, going along the tunnel, uh, I, Yana, do you even have a flashlight, or is he pretty much the only flashlight? I have a flash, like small flashlight. Okay, cool. Wow. Um, you guys uh, head over, and eventually you get to a natural land bridge uh, with the sides off in the darkness and stuff. Um, basically, climbing it is, or going over it is a climb at plus 30. Unless you'd like to carefully crawl over on your hands and uh, feet. If you can't make climate plus 30 by now, you're just, oh, there she goes. She pitches <laughs> off the edge and. Would we'll you try out, to kill yourself? We'll figure out where no. she resurrects here in a bit. <laughs> oh, I actually, maybe, no. Uh, Do you have a 61 or higher in climate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I made it. I oh. See. She doesn't pitch herself over, but she comes damn close for some fucking reason. You just watch her like. <laughs> and it, Yana, next time you're going over this, if you go on your hands and, knee, and knees, you'll get a plus 40%, just so you're aware. Yeah. So eventually you get to where some mine tracks start, and they're going along, and eventually you come to a seven meter wide divot in the mine tracks uh, that with a pit descending in darkness, they're rotting timbers with rusty metal tracks uh, precariously over the hole. Now, if you want to go real slow and on your hands and knees, I need to climb at plus 10%, or you could make an acrobatics roll to just balance walk across it. Um, what about maneuvering? Can I use maneuver to like- No, not like really. Run, it, slide across the tracks or something? No, no, that's it's pretty much acrobatics or climb are your big things. I'll climb. Give me a climb at plus ten percent to avoid sudden death syndrome. Got it. All right, great, Yana. It's all you. Yeah, plus ten. Yeah. Yes. yes. No problem. You guys carefully go over, um, and let's see. Eventually. In the distance, you see a very faint light. Um, it's it's uh it, it's slowly brightening as the sun's coming up and you hear a faint howling wind you get closer to it looks like uh it used to be boarded up and somebody kicked the boards out and stuff like that um and you guys emerge from the mine shaft it looks like you're on the top of a hill and uh there's snow that's a bit more than knee deep it is fucking cold your shoes are totally insufficient for this big galoshes and shit would have been better you you guys feel cold as fuck even with your winter stuff this is the kind of place where you could wear like arctic clothing and be like yeah it's a bit brisk but we can do it you guys are wearing 1950s uh my it's a bit cold outside clothing I go back in the mine right quick, and I'm going to cast a couple spells. Fine. Nope. Shows <laughs> his head exploding. I was like, ah, it happened again. I missed it by now. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, the spell casting here. Uh, it is willpower times three to make it go, Chris. Okay. How far uh, is the smurf word from here? Um, if you can remember the way, you can. it's about two hours hike. Okay. And the, so the, we need cold weather gear to get there, like cold weather gear from here to get there. Mm. Uh, you probably won't lose that many fingers. And if you get back to the red carpet, then maybe they'll grow back. 
And the town that's closer? The town is about a half an hour away. Yeah. But yeah, Chris, this is definitely a not not a magical area. So would you rather just go and show me what this other place is, or what? Yeah, let's let's try. Let's go to the Smurf world. Okay. First, both of you guys give me con rolls. This is toughing out the fucking amazingly bitter. He dies. His hand Mildred, falls off. Mildred, carry me. <laughs> Never. <laughs> <laughs> if you if you fail this, you're going to suffer a d6 of hypothermia damage. If you roll a six, oh, never mind, didn't roll a six. Great, yeah, your your fucking fingers are ready to fall off pretty soon. You're thinking this sucks. Oh, I also didn't make it. <laughs> Wow. Roll your D6 of hypothermia damage. If you get a six, one of your fingers comes off. Hi. You're both really fucked, but you haven't managed to lose anything yet. Maybe hey. you can your nose someday. So you guys eventually go over, and now it's a choice for uh, the woman with no name. Either a memory roll or navigate land. Your memory. choice. You get one. Memory. Okay. Nope. She's apparently taking you on a death tour of uh, this fucking wilderness. Chris, you can give me a, or both of you can give me a, uh, uh, knowing about plants and shit like that lore if you want. Biology. Uh, no, that's, that's more animals, I think. Uh, botany would be good, or natural history. Oh, I have botany, actually. Go for it. Yes, maybe. You think you might be far north in Canada near the Arctic Circle getting ready to die. If you'd like to try looking some more, you'll both suffer more damage from the extreme cold. Possibly losing tip of your nose, fingers, fingertips, toes, shit <sighs> like that. Otherwise, you could just die here. You know, it feels like it'd be better. I hate this place. Yes, you really, really do. You did try to warn him, though. Yeah. But you, you're right now just wandering the wilderness with him, uh, looking vaguely for a, a really small kind of hidden cave. Mm. Oh, Yana, you could also give me a amazingly hard luck roll. Give me something okay. special there. I try. Oh, it's not special. You're going to die here, you think. Mm. You're in the Arctic Circle. It's winter time. You're inadequately dressed. Shit's getting ready to fall off. What do you do? So I don't know where I am with that memory. It roll. all looks the same. Mm. Yeah, because um, you said you failed your memory roll, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. You're fucked, you think? We're fucked. Uh, now, you could always try Arctic Survival. <laughs> that would really help out if somebody has Arctic Survival and shit. Because then you'd have like a little fire and stuff. Because, you know, you've been out wandering for hours and you really need some heat before you both die horribly. You're both going through the effects of hypothermia right now. And you're thinking resurrection may come sooner rather than later. And you wouldn't be the first people to die in this fucking white hellhole. Mm. Other than that, your day's fine. <laughs> Great. <laughs> um. I don't have any Arctic survival. Wow, it's a great day to learn it, you think? I can try to make some fire and shelter just by learn. Yeah, even a fire spell would probably help out. But uh, do you guys want to spend the time? Because if you, if you try your Arctic survival and both of you fail, then you will take more damage. Or you can continue pushing it and wander around just a little bit more, hoping that something looks familiar to her in the snow-covered landscape hell. Mm. Did you fail your Arctic survival and rolled more damage on yourself, Chris? No, that was for uh, a, card, a skill card. 
Cool. So, which would you guys like to do? Attempt to heat yourselves up through Arctic survival or wander through the wilderness? If you can make your Arctic, if either of you, just one of you can make their Arctic survival, then uh, you will restart your, your damage thing. Otherwise, if you both, if you both fail Arctic survival or push it and she doesn't find it again, then you'll take more damage. <clears throat> Do you want to continue looking? Or? So if we go back right now, we can retrace our steps and get back and then come back like tomorrow or something, right? Maybe, but then you'll definitely take more damage because you're so far away. You've been going for two, three hours and she's like any minute now and you're like, my finger is ready to fall off, literally frozen, as are my toes and my nose. I think it'd be easier to retrace our steps than wander around and then we're double fucked. Yeah. To try to get right. back if we need to. I'm just saying that you're going to take, you're definitely. I would rather just take some damage and know that I'm back. Okay. Are I'm you guys good with that? Die. Okay. Well, yeah, but you may lose body parts, is what I'm saying, as opposed to Arctic survival, and then you won't lose any body parts. But we don't know Arctic survival, so there is small I'm chance. For in all this. We go back. All right. Great. I Now, uh, I need a tracking a plus 10 from one of you, the Arctic support, because it is uh, always snowing here for some reason. It could be that horrible white witch. Mr. Beaver doesn't do anything to help you either. So who would like to be the primary in tracking and who the secondary? Do you track? <laughs> Barely. Do you track at all? Wait a bit. All right. Well, well, don't you always. help me? Okay. You try to help me by pointing out the huge divot that we just put in the <laughs> four foot of snow yeah. that we walked through. Mm -hmm. You can't fucking... <laughs> well, like I said, it's still snowing, and it's not snowing lightly either. Well, I can see if it was like a couple inches looking, but we've just trudged through three foot. If we can't fucking find a trail... I'll give, you a, I'll, give you a plus, no. I'll give you a plus 20 to find your oh, way back. Shit. How's that? Yeah. So, uh, Mildred, you got a plus 20 on your supporting of okay. his, uh, tracking, which will inevitably fail and cause you both to die. Uh, I make it. Okay, so now he's at a plus 25. I would even make it if I would be the primary of this. Hmm. Got it. Barely. Okay. Nice. Chris and Mildred, one of you make the the supporting luck roll, the other one make a luck roll. I want a negative 60 luck roll for, oh, there it is, as you're wandering back to the fucking uh, place that you started from, you may stumble upon it completely in error. So who's doing the supporting luck roll at negative 60, and then who's doing the primary at negative 60, or negative 55 if the other person supports? I'm rather lucky. Do you want to support me? Okay. I go a little. Go team. Uh, yeah, uh, am I also? Yeah, yeah, you're at a huge negative as well. No, yeah. no, no. No, no 73? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's all up to Doc. I played a skill 15, by the way. Mm -hmm. Oh. oh well. So each of you can take an R D six damage from various frostbite, and Doc has managed to uh, follow the divot of snow back. Mm. You are now back at the uh, uh, obstacle course. We go back through what two climb rolls to get back. Uh, well, I believe it's three, but um, oh wait, no, that's the strength roll to get out. The okay, so the climb roll to get over the uh, divot is at a plus ten. Otherwise, mm -hmm. fall to your death. Yes. Cool. And then uh, the land bridge is a, uh, a climb at uh, plus thirty if you go really slow. Or you fall to your death. Yes. And then climbing up the ladder is a plus 20 unless you want to hold shit in your hands. Yes. Holy shit. It, ah, your fingers are burning. Your face is on fire when you come up. And you're back in like the normal kind of summertime. Mm -hmm. And there's steam coming off you. And you're like, ah. 
It hurts so fucking bad. You guys wish to stumble over to the barber shop and try to get there before he closes? Sure. Yeah, there's only a few hours left. You guys managed to hobble your way over there. And he goes, hi, what can I do for you? I'd like a shave. Cut to. It shows you guys taking off the towels and both of you are doing the, ah, your fucking fingers are regenerating and shit. And it's fucking painful. But you're in red carpet. Basically, you guys are screaming and writhing in the barber chair for a good half minute or a minute. And you're all fine again. Wow. That was painful, but here at least they sell real winter gear, you're thinking, as opposed to 1950s. Oh, the coat's a little bit heavier. <laughs> Clem goes, wow. <laughs> as you guys stop screaming and writhing. Where to? We go buy fucking cold weather gear. You guys like, buy professional cold weather gear. It shows it shows the uh, guy raising his eyebrow, Doc Fulton, and shows him pulling out like a black credit card, and it shows the camera close up, and it goes Visa. You know, <laughs> it's an advertisement. Anyway, um, no problem. Yeah, you guys uh, are now in. Uh, did you want any special lights like Miner's helmet or like you can get uh, the two LED flashlights and the headband that points straight ahead? There's That's all fine. kinds of great shit here. Uh, do you want like mining or not mining spikes, uh, ice picks and shit? Like, I mean, you can get pretty much we're going to the Arctic gear if you wish. From my memory, what, what type of clothes were the people that are wearing? Uh, they were old timey uh, cowboy outfits, a lot of long coats with a lot of fur and shit. I'm just thinking that we could also get something that looks native. Take a card, Yana. Yes, uh, for some extra money, which Chris's credit card can well fucking absorb. You guys can basically have your professional uh, Arctic gear camouflage to look like the shitty shit that they use in that place. Whereas you guys have like the thermal battery powered gloves, they now can look on the outside like deer skin mittens and stuff. As long as nobody gets them off you and examine them closely, you'll be Good. fine. You guys will literally be snug as a bug in a rug type of thing uh, while everybody else is going, well, they got cold clothes on, but they can't survive long, etc. <laughs> So, yes, uh, there's an impressive total. The guy raises his eyebrows, and Chris runs his credit card through, and it's like, hell yes, hell yes. And he's like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. no problem, done. Cool. Just to make it easier, we'll get a hotel room, you know, a couple rooms. We'll stay here the night That's like next to the barbershop, and then in the morning, we'll go back. You don't feel like getting shot at, blown up, or anything like that for a bit? Uh, yeah. No. Nah. Weird. All right, no problem. Cut two. You guys uh, going back? You've each got your backpacks and shit, and you go back to the obstacle course of death. Give me climb rolls at plus twenty percent. Uh, actually, you can have plus twenty five percent because Chris bought these special gloves because he knew what's coming up in the obstacle course. And they have like little micro grips in them. <laughs> this is much easier, you think? Hmm. If only I'd told him about the hell that he would have seen before we almost died in the wilderness. No, it was like, I tried to warn him. Awesome. So, uh, climb, climb rolls, we need three, right? One, well, two, three. Yeah. Yeah, if you want to do it that way. Yana, you want to pop your two climb rolls and then we'll figure yeah. out uh, where your body ends up? I'm good. Oh, wow, well, shit. All right, no problem, man. You guys go back into the wilderness. Yana, give me a memory roll of minus 10%. Maybe you don't know where it is, you think, unhappily. Mm, I play skill five. I was pretty drunk last time. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I, was, I was here with Alex. Yeah, yeah, you were really ah, drunk last time. You decide that uh, state-dependent memory may help, <laughs> and it does. So you guys arrive at a uh, well-hidden crack in uh, one of the, the stone 
sides of a mountain thing that goes into a fucking narrow ass cave and it's kind of a squeeze through it type of place um yeah after you i go ahead it doesn't seem to like this place for some reason i don't understand why um right no problem you guys uh, where the hell did it go where did it go where are the stones where? Uh, no problem you guys uh squeeze through and eventually you come to a shipping container looking thing that's inside of the this cave and it's just big enough you couldn't like crawl over or around the shipping container it's like somebody plugged up a cork of a bottle with the shipping container and um it's not locked on this side so you open it up and inside of the shipping container there's a bunch of uh christmas lights or fairy lights as they call them in some parts of the world uh that you can turn on they're they're kind of a soft glow and there's all kinds of these fucking big ass clunky looking rabbit costumes it's much warmer inside of this shipping container also so stripping out of your arctic stuff probably a good idea but these these fucking rabbit costumes all look kind of the same all look beat up and a couple have fluids on the outside that have dried long ago on them and you're wondering did somebody have sex okay yeah there, there's there's enough that you never have to wear those but it looks like somebody else did yeah you know furries doing their thing whatever exactly. floats your boat yep 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 um so yeah and then on the opposite side like the other door of the shipping container uh has three different locks on your side they're like padlocks and each of them has a key inside of it like to make it easy to open apparently but also you notice that there's air holes in the shipping container but they all have like this black uh fabric on your side so they Maybe evidence analysis rolls. Got it. Okay. Yana make hers? No. Yeah, you're thinking maybe it's to look psychedelic. Chris, you're thinking that that way, if you have like the, the dim lighting on in here, that people outside will not see uh, that you have lighting on in here. Okay. Yeah. Um, so that's that's what's up here. So we saw this and decided we don't want to see the rest. So you guys didn't even go in. We 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 kind of like looked and didn't want to go. <laughs> Outside you hear. Hey slutty smurfette. Yeah, Hi, we, sexually explicit smurf. We How about a blow job? All right, she says. Do you have some Smurf berries for me? He's like, do I ever? That was also a deciding factor of not going <laughs> again. That was our deciding factor. <laughs> right, so I unlocked the locks. Okay. Um, How can we not look? I need to look. I need to look. Okay, let's go. All right, Chris, give me a danger sense roll. Yana, give me a memory roll. There's no danger here. Oh, excellent. I don't remember anything. Of course not. No problem. Um, Before yeah. I open it, though, I will turn off the lights. OK. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I almost forgot something. Both of you give me essence times three rolls. <laughs> no. Oh, I think Chris is getting ready for a refill. No? OK. Jan, did you make your essence times three? No. Bummer. You guys definitely felt as though you were falling when you walked in. And also you hear distant air raid sirens and the sound of bombing. Yeah. So, okay, now I turn off the lights. <laughs> yes. And I want to, can I open, can I look through the people to see what's going on out there? 
No problem. You see, uh, a, it looks like one Smurf giving another Smurf a blowjob. They definitely don't look human, or they look like British royalty, depending on your point of view. They have big ears, no chins, uh, weird faces and stuff. Pretty much not human at all. In, in the distance, you see Zeppelins and stuff, and uh, one of the buildings says, uh, fight the Keebler elves for Papa Smurf. And give me a history roll there, Doc, as you glance around quickly. Mm -mm. Something odd. It also seems that you're in a major city. Um, the trees are fucking huge. In fact, give me an evidence analysis roll as you uh, just shows one Correct. eye looking around. Correct. You made it. You think that you're about the size of three apples stacked on each other because the trees are really, really big, and you are the same size as the Smurfs, you realize. You so, also see, hmm? oh, these are camouflage. Like, so the, like, mm -hmm. these are bunny suits, and we're supposed to look and act yeah. like bunnies to get around here because we are aliens to them because they're fighting humans that are probably regular size. Take a refill. You're partially right. Um, it also appears that you are in a major city and uh, you're the docks area. And if this city follows the normal San Angeles plan and shit, then yeah, you're, you're in the Southern docks. Down out. Oh, and Chris, because it's fucking huge, you can see toward the center of what would be downtown is a huge human sized house. It appears that the your guess is with your critical evidence analysis role that this city which looks like a modern kind of 1950s-ish city, was built around this human-sized house for reasons. Also, they have spotlights that are looking around, and you can hear distant bombs being dropped and stuff like that. And the spotlights are spotting at the house? or No. No, they're they're going in the air. There are some spotlights on the house that occasionally flip by it, but it appears that they're looking for a different threat. So they're not looking for Gargamel. Hmm, take a card after you get done with your refill. Yes, yes. So, um, do you close the door again? It appears that uh, the the Smurf who had hired the other Smurf is about ready to Smurf out. <laughs> the expression on Chris's face. This is why very few people have gone through here. Yeah. Oh, he begins smurfing out. He yells, Smurf! Smurf! I'll wait for them to be done. They're done. And do they wander away then? Uh, yeah, after after giving her a double handful of small red berries, then he goes, eh, <laughs> and waters off. Are there any of these red berries around that you can pick? No, you don't see any close by at all. Uh, you also notice that the buildings, uh, oh, shit, she's getting ready to see you. <gasps> she's starting to turn. Thing. All right. <laughs> you did notice with the buildings, give me a spot hit and roll it full. Got it. The buildings uh, look like, helps. yeah, uh, the buildings look like slums, but there's trees and shit like that painted on them. Like they kind of wanted to have a forest, but live in slums. And so then they paint the slums look like forest. Uh, yeah. Hmm. I wait and see. Does she? Can I see through the black fabric? Or yes, no? you can. Um, she she's looking around suspiciously, like. Hmm? 
And then eventually she started to wander off uh, with some eating some of her Smurf berries. And uh, you guys also hear, it sounds like pre-recorded announcements. Kill a Keebler elf for Papa Smurf. Papa Smurf is with us. One Smurf, one world, one Papa, etc. Give me history rolls, both of you. I don't think so. Um, oh, did Yana make it? So does this look like... No. Ah. Fucking Smurfs Nazis? What the hell? Yeah, something like that. Well, if you take a card, yes, yes, you're thinking that they may be. <laughs> so, <laughs> Nazi Smurfs and Rabbit Costumes. That's mm. actually not a bad title. Mm. All players who have no firearms on them, nor have a damage bonus from strength, may draw a card. I think mm. both of you are carrying guns, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. place is fucking bizarre yeah do you want to explore it more or did you have enough <laughs> you gotta take a card for the ominous way of asking <laughs> well of course i want to explore it more but we have things going on yeah i know it doesn't look all that big Plus, there's a big landmark. I mean, a giant fucking house really draws the eye. It's like the Jack and the Beanstalk fucking size house. Let's go for the house. I, I need to. We need. I need to. <laughs> okay. I need this, he says. No. Big eyes, big nose, big ears, no chin. Yeah. I put, we, I have the suit on, and I wait to make sure there's no one around and then we slip out no problem now this suit is called the suit of being a negative motherfucking 30 percent for everything because the head wobbles around and all you have is this fucking small ass mesh to look out and the fucking whole suit is made to pretty much fucking make life as awkward as physically possible and uh yeah so you guys go and get in those suits and go out. It's the big, goofy-looking fucking uh, rabbit suits. And yeah, um, no problem. You guys go out. Uh, and one of the first things you encounter is uh, Druggy Smurf, who it looks like has injected himself with something and then passed out in between a couple of the shipping containers. Speaking of that, all the shipping containers look very much the same around here. Just fair warning there. Plus, you have to leave yours unlocked in order to leave. Awkward. Mm. So, you guys uh, head out toward the giant house. <laughs> and eventually, let's see, it's in the middle of the city. Uh, you guys eventually get, when you get close to it, you notice that streets that lead to it are blocked off and they have uh, like, big weapons like uh, machine guns, howitzers, shit like that, pointed at it, as well as like little clumps of guards and stuff. They're kind of keeping an eye on it. And there seems to be a big dead zone between the house and uh, the guards. And give me spot hidden rolls, mm, you say. Mm -hmm. Got it by 30. Uh, yeah, uh, way out in the distance, really hard to see because you didn't bring your rabbit binoculars. It shows him like peering at his head, goes junk, and he goes, fucker. Uh, is that a minefield sign? A little warning, you're in a mi the middle of a minefield? Yeah, you think so. So apparently they built a minefield around this house. Uh, the mailbox does say it's Gargamel's house. And... Um, yeah, the guards aren't super attentive, but it would definitely be a sneak by their asses. Um, yeah. So that that's what's over there. You're now, the sure. minefield, are the mines look real? Like, does it you don't, like, you don't, actually, like a, you don't actually see any mines. That's the problem. It's just the, the sign is all you see. Is there like a guard shack by where they're guard, like by each, like, or no? 
Uh, yes, yeah, uh, there there are guard shacks and stuff uh, with some uh, bored looking guards. They're they're usually in groups of three. Um, it looks like uh, they're ready to hop onto mortars or uh, howitzers or heavy machine guns at, at pretty short notice. Uh, and all that shit is pointed at the house for some reason. Uh, they're all wearing their fucking white hats as well. Uh, as well as they, they have rank and stuff, they all appear to be in the military and kind of reminiscent of, um, you know, black uniforms. Uh, they they have uh, the uh, Smurf sector, SS, on their uh, thing. So, yeah, yeah, they're, they're Nazis, you think? Are there other, is there wildlife in the kill zone at all? Uh, you do see a giant bird that's been shot down by anti-aircraft over there. <laughs> Who loves you? Who do you love? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So apparently they've got a strict no tolerance policy with uh, nature now. Just mm. like us in real life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're thinking, you know, this, the, yeah, yeah. So they're not really watching over there, though? They're keeping an eye on the house, and occasionally a, a spotlight will go across the kill zone, but it is possible to make it across the minefield kill zone. The problem is that the minefields are definitely super well hidden, uh, and you may blow yourselves up. Of course, whoever is going through the minefield second has a much better chance of not blowing themselves up, provided they're able to match some fucking stride. Which means that Doc Fulton will be blowing himself up. The woman with no name could easily follow in his footsteps unless he's a real dick and takes huge steps and just kind of does the hopping run. Or is it if you nighttime have or? it is totally nighttime right now. So it might be it'd probably be easier to get to the edge. Once, take off once... the stupid outfit, get across. And then mm -hmm. deal with what's over there because if we have the outfit on, it's going to be near impossible. Yeah. Well, the the outfit won't influence your luck roll, but uh, the problem is if you have the outfit off or the yeah, if you take off your outfit and then you get seen, then they will fucking freak out. It, it'll be very bad. Uh, but if uh, you keep the uh, the outfit on and somehow survive, or and then they see you in the minefield, then they think that you've just gone nuts. Also, by the way, everybody you've seen seems to try to avoid you or go, no flyer, as they pass. Hmm. So if anybody can tell me why, then I'll give them a card for that. These are great disguises. Nobody wants to deal with you at all. Well, see, they love nature, and I remember... They used to. Right. But, I mean, they're painting nature on their slums. Mm hmm So, I mean, they think they still love nature, at least. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to try... Let's just try to wander through. And okay. See let us. Well, we in die. order to get across the minefield before anybody notices you, there will be some sprinting and luck involved because, uh, you know. I'll go first. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, hold on. Let me find the minefield problem here. I'm also thinking or hoping that the mines have to be rather big and would need a really heavy foot to trigger them. That might... <laughs> What what Logan's is I don't care. This is what Doc is thinking in his head. Which oh, okay, great. Yeah, it makes you feel better. Uh, now let's see. Uh, okay, um, the minefield. Uh, okay, first, um, I'm going to need stealth roll from both of you. This is to uh, basically uh, be unobtrusive about it. Also, when you get to the other end, there are some vines and shit growing up the thing 
Uh, they're going to fucking catch catch you and shoot you before you're going to even get there, Chris. Um, there are some vines going up uh, that go to like an open uh, uh, bathroom window. And this is uh... one only one stealth roll covers you for the whole thing. And this is at a negative thirty. No, no, no. Oh, I'm not going to no. make it. Great. Um, okay, so. Uh, no problem. Um, now you guys are going to sprint across. Now the sprint, the sprint is going to be at full because it's not just a one round sprint, which I would put at negative 30, but this is, we're trying to get across fast enough that the guards won't notice us before they go back to looking to see if, you know, any giant humans are crossing or something. So give me sprint rolls at full, both of you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Chris is going to be taking so long in there that he's going to have to do multiple luck rolls and shit like that. As he's oh. pretty much dragging ass through the fucking minefield going, I'm a turtle rabbit. In fact, if he, was, if he was racing a turtle, this is why the turtle would win. Mm. You've never seen anything like it. In fact, you well, pretty much could punch him in the tail the whole way if you wanted. I'll spend a, a hero point. There's nothing better than blowing hero points as you run across a fucking minefield with a big fucking stupid head wobbling back and forth, giving you intermittent looks at the ground. Okay, so now as far as the landmines go, I all I need from Chris... Not Yana yet. Wait, Wait for I, still Yana. I still didn't make it, though. I failed oh. my sprint roll. No problem. The, uh, then you need to give me another stealth roll to do the... Uh... <gasps> oh, well, okay. Yana, give me another stealth roll because uh, assuming that you don't... Or you don't have to if you run ahead of Chris partway through. <sighs> you want to take the lead and not do another stealth roll? Or do you want to uh, basically... Try to look like two rabbits having sex in a minefield when the cards glance around. Uh, I probably run for first. Wow. Okay. So uh, neither of you gets a bonus on your uh, luck roll because Chris is at first is in the lead, and then Yana takes the lead, and then Chris will get a bonus. But there are no bonuses because you know you're both doing lead. Both of you give me a luck roll to avoid stepping on a landmine. Mm -hmm. Lower is better. Yes, I'm fine. Wow, she is great at this. Chris, however, uh, blows himself up. You see the rabbit flipping end over end and then landing. That's why I, yeah, that's why I ran forward. That makes good sense to me. Chris, uh, roll yourself a d6 plus a d8. This will also Base. alert. What? All right, no problem. Uh, unfortunately, it alerts the guards. So since you are going really slow, I'm going to need another stealth roll because they look around like, a landmine blew up. Oh, my God. Got it. They look. They don't, you're, you're kind of like hiding. Go. <laughs> and then the guards are like, ah, probably another malfunction one. And give me another luck roll, Chris, to see if you blow yourself up again. Oh, well, hold on. Before I go just wandering off, I'm going to cast phase again. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, right. This is a uh, no magic zone, so give me a willpower times three roll. No. no. <laughs> this is the rabbit looking like he's spazzing out in the middle of a minefield. <laughs> so you made your willpower times three and then your new phase spell? Yeah, I I double tap it all the time. That's just the way I've always done it. So, mm -hmm. got it. And Great. now I will wander. Great. Give give me a new luck roll to avoid explosion. Got it. But it nothing special. But I did that's fine. That's fine. You guys get get over there and right now you've got the big thick vines uh, to climb up, and it looks as though. Um, they're quite, quite high. Falling off of this, not good. But uh, now, if you want to climb in your rabbit suit, it's a negative 30. If you want to say, fuck it, let's take off the rabbit suit, leave it here, mm. it's a fall. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Okay, yeah. great. 
Although climbing up in the rabbit suit has been done by somebody. <sighs> they hated this place too. Wow, looks like Chris will survive the climb, but will Yana? Yes. Or will she discover just, oh, damn. All right, so you guys get up there, and eventually you climb down the other side. You're now in the bathroom. Um, yeah, it looks like a normal bathroom. Oh, no, there's a giant kitty litter box over there. It's uh -huh. huge. Yeah. And smells. You guys are Azrael's cat. Azrael is the name of the cat. Wow, take a card, Chris. You really know your Smurf lore. Yeah, you guys are checking out turds about as big as you. It's not good. Well, so I'll continue on. Okay, you're worried about being able to out stealth a cat. It's possible. But it's not going to be easy. Mm -hmm. Right. So you guys Is there go. Any cat toys in here? Uh, no, not really in here. No. There's a giant rubber ducky that you could like sit on and command troops from if you wanted to. That's okay. All right. So uh, give me amazing stealth rolls, like stealth at negative 30 as you're going through the house and the shit. Got it. Okay, it's all up to Yana then. If she makes it, everything's fine. If she blows it, then the cat will catch and eat her. Cat, it is. Right, no problem. I go to the section entitled, That Fucking Cat. A giant <laughs> orange cat comes in and is looking around, and Yana says, I want my dramatic combat. And by God, she gets it. So, uh, Chris, you're currently hiding behind a uh, uh, fucking chair in you're in the kitchen and you're hiding behind one of the chairs when the cat is coming in and looking around to eat Yana. We go into dramatic combat round one. Dun, 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 dun. Villains are first, heroes are second. Doing something silly is approved. The cat attempts to spot Yana. Do, 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 do. No problem. The cat has spotted Yana. Yana, it's your turn. Can I try to like run, uh, run like to the cat's back and climb on the cat? It's not silly. I think it's probably a good move. But yeah, you can try to. Uh, give me a uh, sprint jump roll. Okay. This thing, by the way, is fucking huge. No sprint. No problem. You get partway to the cat. It appreciates its prey coming to you. Don't even need to make a jump roll as you're not quite close enough. It goes, eh. And Chris, what do you do? Is there any cat toys in my area? Give me a luck roll at negative 30. This cat doesn't get a lot of cat toys because its owner Got doesn't it. look it. There's uh, a ball over there. Okay. Go to the ball. Okay, you are at the ball. That it? Mm-hmm. Okay, we go to next round. As the cat prepares to eat, it's first sacrifice. Ooh, humans are first. Um, villains are second. Acrobatics is approved. Yana, you could Ooh. use acrobatics to attempt to mount the cat. Yeah, but I don't have any acrobatics. Give me a jump roll then as you attempt to jump up and clutch it. Nope. Excellent. The cat will attempt to kill and eat you soon. Chris, what do you do? I'm going to throw the ball towards the, like, to. You mean to push? Push, yes. Yeah, the ball I'm is waist high. That's fine. I will push the ball so it rolls and uh, distracts the cat. All right. Uh, give me a strength roll as you fling or roll the ball that direction, and uh, the cat now tries to make its intelligence check. It likes the taste of Yana, but it knows the ball as well. So low is bad for Yana. Yeah, it's gonna eat Yana this round. Aww. It'll get the ball next round, and or maybe not. So let's see. The cat uh, attempts to. Ooh, cool. This thing is fucking huge. 
Uh, right. Fortunately for you guys, it's not very good at getting smurf size prey, apparently. So going for a really lower than that roll. Like it's a regular cat sized cat, right? It's kind of big for a regular cat, you're thinking. It's it's unnecessarily frightening. However, Mrs. Yana and the floor shakes slightly under your guys' feet. It appears that uh, it's found a better toy than even the ball, Chris. Next round. 